this single phase contactor I have now, how we are going to control this contactor through a sensor, this is what we are going to learn through this video. So friends, let's start the video. You have seen three phase contactor and a single phase contactor. The only difference between these two is, in this three phase contactor, there are three power terminals present for connection. And in case of single phase contactor, only two power terminals are present for connection. If you want, you can connect phase and neutral supply to both the terminals or you can connect different phase supply also. Apart from this, this single phase contactor has an additional function. Additional is, you can see a lever is present here. This lever which is present here, if you push this downwards, then in this condition, this contactor will be permanently turned off. It means if you do not put this lever in this position, it won't get turned on. For now, let us understand about the power wiring of this contactor. After that, we will move on to control wiring. For power wiring, you have to use two pole MCB. In this MCB, which I have now, you can see two terminals are provided for connection. To this two pole MCB, we will first provide incoming power supply. So we provided input power supply. At the output terminal of MCB, connect a phase wire. Now take this wire to the contactor. In this contactor, you will find 1 and 3 number terminal. 1 and 3 number terminals are power terminals and the output is below here at 2 and 4 number terminal. The other end of the wire is to be connected at 1 number terminal in this way. Similarly, at this output terminal of MCB, we will connect a black wire for neutral power supply. Take other end of the wire and connect with contactor at 3 number terminal. Now through this contactor, I have to turn on and off this lamp. What I will do is, the face wire of the lamp is to be connected with contactor and here you can see 2 is written. It means at this output terminal, this wire is to be connected. This other wire of lamp is to be connected with this 4 number terminal. Now this contactor is to be controlled using this sensor. So what I will do is, for this sensor, first look at this operating voltage. So here it is written that 250 volt AC. This means the sensor I have now works on AC power supply at 250 volts. Among these two wires of sensor, take any one wire and at terminals where you receive phase supply in MCB, connect the wire with that terminal. I connected this brown wire with the phase supply. The second wire of sensor is to be used for providing power supply to the contactor. So I'm taking this wire and here at A1 terminal, you can see here above A1 is written, you have to connect the wire with this terminal. So I connected the wire with this terminal. To operate this contactor, we provided the phase supply through sensor. Now we have to provide neutral power supply. For this, what we will do is, at this MCB, where we receive neutral power supply, connect the wire with that terminal. The other end of the wire is to be connected with contactor, where you can see A2 is written. So at this terminal, we will connect this wire. All the connections for operating this contactor through this sensor is now completed. Now if I turn on this MCB, after turning on the MCB, when I bring any object near sensor, our contactor will be turned on. You can see our lamp is turned on. If I remove this object from here, you can see lamp is turned off. Look here, lamp on, lamp off, on, off, on, off. You can see through this sensor, we are able to control this contactor. Friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give like on my video. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.